hello guys uh, welcome to pipeline practice problem 3 so this is our practice problem 3 consider an instruction pipeline with four stages s1 s2 s3 and s4 each with combinational circuit only the pipeline registers are required between each stage and at the end of the last stage delays for the stages and for the pipeline registers are as given in the figure so what we need to calculate what is the approximate steep speed up of the pipeline in a steady state under ideal condi uh, conditions when compared to the corresponding non pipeline implementation so here you can see that uh, pipeline figure is given to you means the whole figure is given to you you can see this is the stage 1 stage 2 this is stage 3 and stage 4 stage 1 is having delay of 5 nanosecond stage 2 is a delay of 6 nanosecond stage 3 11 nanosecond and stage 4 8 nanosecond and each means uh, uh, register pipeline register having delay of 1 nanosecond you can see 1 nanosecond for each cases so let's start doing this one so solution let's uh, for non pipeline execution time so you already know the no for non pipeline execution times is, is equals to the delay in each stage okay so 5 5 nanoseconds plus 6 nanosecond plus 11 nanosecond plus 8 nanosecond so this is your cycle time or execution time okay uh, for non pipeline so we have calculated uh, 30 nanosecond is the execution time or cycle time for the nine non pipeline system now come to the pipeline one so uh, for pipeline processor maximum delay due to any state plus delay due to its register okay so cycle time uh, is equals to maximum delay due to any register plus delay due to its register so maximum so take the max value 5 6 11 8 is the uh, delay stage delay so 11 is the max so here 11 nanosecond plus 1 nanosecond 1 nanosecond is the register delay so plus 1 nanosecond so this will become 12 nanosecond so this is called your cycle time and this cycle time this cycle time is equals to execution time the execution time for one instruction okay so one clock cycle so execution time is 12 nanosecond cycle time is 12 nanosecond and also execution time is uh, also uh, 12 nanosecond in case of uh, pipeline processors now speed up so for speed up simple non pipeline execution time divided by pipeline execution time so 30 nanosecond divided by 12 nanosecond so your speed up is 2.5 okay means uh, the uh, the speed of uh, uh, processor has been increased by 2.5 when you converted it to non pipeline uh, sorry when you converted it to pipeline from non pipeline to pipeline so the speed has been increased by 2.5 5 nanosecond means we previously you were taking 30 nanosecond now you it's taking only 1 nanosecond to execute so i hope you got it this problem so let's move to the next problem um, practice problem 4 so consider the following procedure assume that the pipeline register has zero latency means register delay is zero Le zero latency means a uh, stage is uh, having delays but register delay is zero here so p1 processor p1 is four stage pipeline having delay one nanosecond two nanosecond two nanosecond and one nanosecond is similarly p2 uh, p2 is having uh, also having four stage pipeline with uh, latencies one stage latencies one 1.5 1.5 for p3 it is five stage pipelines pro uh, processor that is having 0.5 and one nanosecond p4 uh, five stays that is 0 0.5 0 0.5 one nanosecond one nanosecond and 1.1 nanosecond now which procedure has the highest uh, peak clock frequency okay so you need to uh, peak clock frequency if, if you want to calculate the peak clock frequency so what you need to calculate first you need to calculate the cycle time once you have the cycle time so one by t one by cycle time will give you the clock frequency so let's start doing this one so as I already told you, uh, for all our pipeline processor and uh, registers are having zero latency means of register delay. So um, cycle time will be 
maximum delay due to any stress plus delay due to its register so zero that is zero so cycle time is equals to maximum delay due to any stress so for processor p1 cycle time is equals to max 1 nanosecond 2 nanosecond 2 nanosecond 1 nanosecond so 2 is 2 nanosecond okay so cycle time is you have calculated cycle time 2 nanosecond now clock frequency will be 1 divided by cycle time so 1 by 2 nanosecond it will give you 0.5 gigahertz okay so processor p1 is having 0.5 gigahertz frequency now for processor p2 it is also a 4 stage uh, processor so 1 nanosecond 1.5 nanosecond 1.5 1.5 so cycle time will be 1.5 nanoseconds okay so similar way clock frequency will be 1 by 1.5 so the clock frequency is 0.67 gigahertz processor uh, gigahertz frequency it means p2 4 stage pipeline processor is having 0.67 gigahertz uh, frequency now let's move to the p3 so processor p3 cycle time as i told you max value 0 0.511 uh, 0.6 and 1 so 1 nanosecond will be your cycle time this is the max value so clock frequency will be 1 by 1 nanosecond so it will become 1 gigahertz okay so your processor p3 is having 1 gigahertz frequency let's move to the processor p4 so here you can see processor p4 a max uh, means cycle time for processor p4 it is also a five uh, uh, five stage processor so 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 1 1 1.1 so here 1.1 nanosecond is the highest value so cycle time will be 1.1 nanosecond so clock frequency will be 1 by 1.1 so 0 0.91 gigahertz okay so it means your processor p3 is having the clock highest clock frequency because your uh, p4 is having 0.91 okay p3 is having 1 gigahertz okay and uh, p2 is having 0.67 and p1 is having 0.5 it means p3 is having the highest highest frequency so p3 is your answer so hope you guys you able to do such kind of questions so please do like and subscribe my channel thank you so much